All right, welcome to Dean Bodie Show. Dan, da, dan, 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 dan. Dean Bodie Show. How's everybody doing? What's happening? DeanBodie.com is the website. You got the links on there. One goes to the podcast, Apple, Spotify, wherever you get podcasts, or maybe Stitcher or Google or iHeartRadio. You can go on iHeart, hit the search, put Dean Bodie Podcast in there, and boom, there we are. We got the social link that sends you over to the YouTube channel. D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I Space Show is the YouTube channel. All the videos and episodes are on there. All the teasers. All the podcast show. The show podcast. The podcast show. The show podcast are on there. Enjoy the library at this point in time. We're almost like at 70 episodes in already. Where does the time go? So, get this thing started off on the right foot. This is the one. Bodie is the real deal. Bodhi is the one that energizes this whole entire show. Good girl, Bodhi. Good, good girl. Good girl, Bodhi. You're the best girl in the world. Yeah. She's a good girl, Bodhi. She's the best girl in the world. She's a good girl, Bodhi. Yeah, she's the best girl in the world. Ho! DeanBodhi.com. 800-878-9698. Bodhi hotline. The Bodhi line line. The Bodhi. Check in with this line. Leave a funny story. Leave your little, I don't know, high school senior skip day vibe on there. Leave a sing-along for Bodie and I so we can sing along with you. We're ready. Whenever you're ready, we're ready. So, having fun with that. And, hey, listen, got a little sidekick I haven't used in a while. Um, I don't have to say her name out loud, but A-L-E-X-A is her name. Being my sidekick is her game. So, hey Alexa, what's the joke of the day? Why did summer split up with winter? They had a falling out. Oh! Well, thank you, A-L-E-X-A. Did you hear that? Why did summer split up with winter? They had a falling out. (laughs) I love it. So we're going to be talking about some cool stuff today, man. And, uh, wow. Wow. The restaurants, the fast food restaurants, and the one in particular we used to go to in high school on the lunch break, and you know what? They didn't give you enough, uh, really enough time, barely enough time to go there, eat, and fly back and make it to class on time. Should have been longer, but we went to Burger King. We called it the BK Lounge. That's what we called it, man. The BK Lounge. We were not McDonald's kids at that point in time. It was BK Lounge, dedicated Burger King, done. Why? Because hold the pickles, hold the lettuce, special orders don't upset us. All we ask is that you let us serve it your way. Have it your way. Have it your way. Have it your way at Burger King. Come on, you put that up against... To all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, pickles, cheese, onions on a sesame seed bun. Huh? And every time you went to McDonald's back in the day and you had a special order, you said no pickle or whatever, it took forever. I don't know if you remember these things, but those were game changers. We want to walk into Burger King because special orders don't upset us. All we ask is that you let us serve it your way. Sorry, McDonald's. I didn't mean to bother you, but I don't want any extra mayo and all your secret sauce all over it. But later in life, we like both of them now. On occasion, once in a while, as a little bit of a treat, moderation. So, that was wild. I also remember coming back from the beach on many occasions, or that giant water slide that we were like aficionados at, my nephew and I, shout out to Matthew, um, we had that down. But coming back with some of my friends going to that water slide as well, we would land at Taco Bell and have a chow down. Dude, um, we used to have this competitions of like, I dare you to take the hot, out the hot sauce and just shoot it with nothing else. See how many you can do in a row crazy stuff like that, man. But we would put those hot sauces, I was all about the hot sauce, man, on the burritos, on the tacos, and to this day, I can devour some Taco Bell. Oh, come on. 
moderation. I really don't even remember the last time I had it, but now that I'm talking to you about it, well, maybe this weekend we just might dive into a few. So, that being said, we're going to take a little bit of a right turn right now, and we're going to talk about high school and the hot rods we used to have in high school. Before I get into that, hold on. Oh, here he goes. Yesterday, I talked about more plant-based proteins. Remember? Don't be a schmuggler, eat more arugula. The mushrooms, look into it. Cut back on the animal protein, you know, four servings a week instead of like seven a day every day. It reminded me of a joke. A mushroom walks into a bar and I said, bartender, can we have a drink? And the bartender says, sorry, we don't serve mushrooms here. And the mushroom said, oh, come on, I'm a fun guy. Ow! Hey, Millie, did you hear that? The mushroom's a fun guy. Yeah, I get it, I get it. Cheese sandwich walks into a bar. Bartender, I'd like a drink. Bartender says, sorry, we don't serve food here. Ow! Oh, hey, Millie, yeah, did you hear that? The sandwich went in there, and the guy said, we don't serve. Yeah, I heard it, I heard it. How funny. Horse walks into a bar. Says, bartender, let me have a drink. Bartender says, why such a long face? Ow! Hey, Millie! Did you hear? Yeah, I heard it. I heard it. Oh, God. In high school, we had different people with different kinds of hot rods. Shout out to a friend. Let's just call him Jeff, the mechanic. He worked on my Le Mans. He worked on his own cars. The kid knew his stuff. He was one of these guys that was the best in... Uh, in uh, what do you auto mechanics class in high school? Me, I just cleaned the spark plugs and got sick by swallowing a piece of skull chewing tobacco that I thought would have been good to do that day. Turn green, not good, never did it again. But let's just say he dialed it in, my friend. And he had a, a 68, 69 Camaro back in the day. Uh, my memory serves me correctly. I'm doing the best I can here. And it was like a brown, not much to look at, but he had this thing tuned up. And we decided to go around the corner to the Hess station because this is where somebody worked that had a Cutlass Supreme with diamond tufted interior. And it was a showpiece, man. It was jacked up. The Kreger wheels, um, metal flake green paint job, the green inside, diamond tufted interior. Gorgeous car, man. But he thought he could take us. Down Atlantic Boulevard back in the day, there was a long stretch with nothing until they built stuff up back toward going towards the west. We went out there, and we stopped there, and it was a real run, man. You want to go? You want to go? And boom! The Camaro destroyed the Cutlass, and it was like wah, wah, wah for the Cutlass. We crushed them, and we laughed, and we had such a, such a kick out of just destroying it because one was such a beautiful-looking hot rod, thought he had it all going on, and we came in with our deal, boom, and it was all over. That was a lot of fun, but we had some... Nice cars in the parking lot. Mine wasn't too shabby, but I remember having a friend, let's just call him Doug with the Grand Am. Let's just call him Roy with the, like the land yacht, old style Monte Carlo. This thing was like f floating on the road. I mean, when you were, see this hood, it was a beast. Cars were beasts back then with real metal. I mean, it's like you could run head on into a wall and the wall would go crashing down before the car. So what else do we have? We had a couple kids there. Well, that one Cutlass was sweet, no question. And the one, another 68, 69 Camaro came in. It was, this thing was blue. It had the, the, the wide wheels in the back and the small ones in the front. Perfect blue paint job. Centerline mags. This thing was cherry. And can't remember, forget the kid that had the Smokey and the Bandit Trans Am. To the T. I don't know. He played on the soccer team. 
Got it as like a birthday gift. I remember seeing him at the car wash one day and he's washing it. And uh, he didn't even towel it off because he didn't want the lint from the towels to get on the black paint job. He goes, I'm just going to go on the highway and let it air dry. Man, did he love this car. But those Smokey and the Bandit ones were sweet. Um, those are some of the cars back then. We really had a parking lot full of these old hot rods. And then all of a sudden, wow, comes around graduation time and two brothers... Well, they get brand new Porsches as a, a graduation gift. Oh, wow, what a nice present, matching Porsches to just rub it in towards the end of the school year. If you've ever seen that movie, um, uh, the Tom Cruise movie, uh, what do you call it? The Tom Cruise movie, um, oh no, where he's got that Porsche, his dad's Porsche, and he had to go to the dealer and get another one. Risky business. Oh, he gets it. And he brings it back, that round Porsche. I don't know, was it 928 or I lose track of the Porsche numbers. It might have been. They were pretty sweet. I don't think you really don't see them anymore. But two of those identical for a graduation gift. Seriously? So, anyways, this was like a lot of fun, man. Those cars back in the day were so much fun. Picking each other up in these rides. Whoever was driving, it was a cool car. Man, it was such a great time. But hold the pickles, hold the lettuce. Special orders don't upset us. All we ask is that you let it. Serve it your way. Have it your way. Have it your way. Have it your way at Burger King. Much better than two all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on the sesame seed bun. What? So, what can I tell you? That's the story about the high school, the rides, the hot rods, some of the little fast food restaurants that we used to chow down at. You had to have the munchy places, man. But the BK Lounge, it still holds a warm, soft place in my heart because of the memories. Find those things that make your memories. Make your little short list. The songs, get them on your playlist. Start doing things to push those buttons to tap into those good times, especially with what's going on now. COVID, schmovid, pandemic, schmandemic. Who knows what Dr. Fettuccini's going to tell us to do next? Anybody seen Hunter? Hey, Hunter, where's Hunter? Has anybody seen Hunter? Universal face. That's what that deserves. Good girl, Bodie. Good, good girl. Good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Yeah. For real. We're going to get through this bigger, better, and stronger. I'm telling you. Stick with Dean Bodie. DeanBodie.com is the website. Remember, you can go on there. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to ring the bell. You know, you don't want to miss any of these shows. We're going back to real stories. We're tapping into memory buttons. We're pushing buttons, flipping switches to increase the endorphin release in the body to make us feel better. You know? I don't know. What can I tell you? You got to do it. You got to fortify yourself with stuff. More plant-based proteins. Give it a try. Don't be a schmuggler. Eat some more arugula. <laughs> Just stick with Dean Bodie. We got your back. All right? That being said, don't forget to, uh, you know, you can leave a five-star rating and a nice review on the podcast. would be awesome because the numbers are going up every week because of you. I noticed some of the countries, France, um, Armenia, a couple other spots that are downloading the Dean Bodie podcast. How cool is that as I got some of the stats? There's some other ones too. I just can't remember them off the top of my head. How exciting is that? How far reaching is Dean Bodie becoming? The greatest. Because she's the good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. She's the good girl, Bodie. Best girl in the world. Ho. Have a great day, man. Let's make it a strong week this week. You know, keep your eyes on the stars. Keep moving down the road. And things are going to be good. Take care of yourself. Keep your immune system strong. Make sure you stay hydrated like we talked about. And um, the hotter times of the month, 
even more reason to stay hydrated. Dehydration causes a whole laundry list of health problems. We don't need to do that when it's just simply handled by drinking more water. When you go to the bathroom, you want to see clear, not yellow, dark yellow. You got the built-in meter. Pay attention to the built-in meter. Pay attention to the what's going on. Keep your eyes open and your ears open, and we're going to figure it out. You'll see. We're going to be doing this daily. Remember, life comes at you daily, not weekly and monthly. Dean Bodie's here daily for you. We will talk at you tomorrow. Remember, DeanBodie.com. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye now.